So I am so happy to be back at work. This is not a real sandwich. It is a prop fake sandwich. But I'm about to start to lay props back out and sort of reset the space for us. Another show has been in the space since last we were here. And so I need to get things back together. back home <laughs> so it's actually been it's been a rough day to be honest it was it wasn't it wasn't the easiest ease back into it um that it could have been but it wasn't terrible but these are the days that I know I'm doing the right thing because even my worst days doing this job are better than good days doing other jobs you know which is a weird thing to say and not everybody has that so I'm grateful for that I've also decided the best way to get myself work is to plan trips. So I was sitting around the van yesterday. Um, I, I I had signed up for an Amazon Flex shift where I got assigned no deliveries. So it was one of those lovely unicorn moments where I got paid to sit in a parking lot and get assigned no work. Um, and I'd also done a little bit of Uber Eats earlier that day, and I was like, for the type of stuff I'm doing right now, like, I don't have to be in Berkeley, I don't have to be in Oakland, I don't have to be in San Francisco, which is where I've been for shows for the past few months, in Sunnyvale. Like, that's where I've been the past few months for shows, and so I needed to be in Sunnyvale because I had a show in Sunnyvale. I needed to be in San Francisco because I had a show in San Francisco. I needed to be in Berkeley or Oakland because I had commitments related to usually Bay Area Children's Theater um, in Berkeley or Oakland, and a lot of those commitments have dwindled to gone away just because they don't have work for me right now. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I can do some of this gig economy stuff not here. So why don't I just get my head together and go somewhere else? Not Arizona, not going to RTR that's too far away for 
sort of what I have going on right now with um work. Um yeah, it's just it's just too far away to drive. And I already did my crazy drive to uh Vancouver and back and that that was about as much as I wanted to I want to compromise <laughs> um my situation right now. Uh and it was worth it. I mean like I I he was planning to like travel and or, or so he had said on YouTube. Um it seems like he did get out of Vancouver shortly after Christmas. So my only chance to meet Chrome you know, from Van City Van Life was to have gone on that Vancouver trip. And so I did it. I wish I could have stayed in Vancouver more than if, what basically was a few hours. I mean, if I was there 12 hours, I'm, I'm I'm shocked. I think it took longer to drive there and back than the amount of time that I was actually in Vancouver because I got there late and then I had to leave early so that I, I had enough time to get back for work. So I've already done sort of sort of that gotten that out of my system but I wanted to go somewhere that wasn't a place I'd had to be the past couple months just to switch it up change it up get into a different environment and so I was planning to do that I wanted to go somewhere where I knew I could turn on Uber Eats and still make money because I can't afford to just go somewhere and make zero dollars and I got two emails uh that I've been hoping to get <laughs> for most of the month um, one of them was a house management shift for Bay Area Children's Theater, um, and another one was a interview that I have been trying to get a follow-up on um, for most of January. So those two things happened, I feel like, because I planned a trip, it was like, nah, <laughs> you're staying right here. Um, but these are good things. They're not bad things. They're absolutely good things. And they are things I need so that I can travel more freely for longer amounts of time in the future. And it's okay with me that this isn't 20, the beginning of 2020 is not the time where I have a lot of free time to travel and that's okay. I need to pay some dues so that I can have that in the future. Sorry, I just noticed there's like this white piece of lint on my shirt. <laughs> so that's what's happening right now. Um, two leads that I was hoping on, it looks like are about to bear fruit. Um, and I had a good, I, I mean, I had a good, emotionally, I had a good return to work. It was a rough day um, for, for various reasons, but I emotionally was like, yes, I'm back at work. Like, it, it felt good to be sort of back in the swing, even though I don't have much of it um, this month. In fact, I only have two more days of this show, and then we're off for, like, a whole week. And a week would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten days where there's no income, and then I only get three more days, and then the month is uh, pretty much over. Um, and right now I have nothing for February and nothing until mid-March. Um, but these two situations should lead to me being able to fill those gaps a little more successfully, uh, specifically in work I want to do as opposed to work I don't want to do. Um, so now I'm kind of holding back on doing other things and just trying to stick with the gig economy stuff while I get these other two situations on track because in an ideal world these are my preferred situations and so I don't want to commit to anything that requires a major commitment until I've kind of seen these through and luckily I have the gig economy stuff to sort of drop in the in the gaps until um, I can do that so now I'm gonna head to the gym and get me a nice shower. Peace. Did you find the information in this video useful? Well, the best way to help me continue to grow is to like, comment, and if you want notifications about new future videos, please subscribe. You can also join us on Patreon and follow me on Instagram. Looking forward to the next time I hang out with you.